Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Like always, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is one of the most beautiful rainbow palettes that I've seen so far, and this is the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. This is the outside packaging, and it is super beautiful. As you can tell, there's a lot of color, and in the back you kind of just get like a little description of the shades that you get inside, and then you do get a brush like every Urban Decay shadow eyeshadow palette, which I really appreciate because for people who are barely starting off with makeup, I think it's nice to have like a little brush and then it comes like this and then it says full spectrum on it and it's like in a little rainbow print and then you have like a fluffy kind of blending brush and then you have like a denser packing brush which is really nice you know you could travel with it you could keep it in there I usually just keep them in my palettes because I don't really use them and this retails for $55 and let me show it to you guys it is so beautiful this is the outside packaging and they always do such an incredible job with packaging. It's a matte black and it has a glossy black stripes and then the Urban Decay logo is rainbow and it says full spectrum. And in the back it's just like a shiny material and it's plastic and it is so nice. And then right here where you open it says Urban Decay. Very nice, very sleek and classy. I'm in love with this packaging. And you do get a big mirror and then you get your beautiful shades and I know what you're thinking you could either be very intimidated by this palette or you could absolutely love this palette it can go either way but honestly I love incorporating colors I am not afraid to play with colors and I don't think anybody should be because I think I've said it a hundred times but it's just makeup and we shouldn't take ourselves too seriously plus this is so beautiful this is like their holiday release kit, not a kit, but like a palette, and it is so beautiful. I've heard it be compared to the Kat Von D, um, I don't know, the palette that she came out with last holiday, maybe that Loca palette. I didn't get that one, so it's nice to have this one because you have every single color in here. There is 21 shades in total here, 18 are brand new shades, and then there's three that have been included in previous shades two from the alice in wonderland and one from the vice three and when i do swatches for you i'll let you know which ones those are which ones are the shades that have been included in previous palettes but honestly 18 new shades and i have swatched these i did do swatches on my instagram and i actually really liked them i think that there's not that much problems there's some i think two that are just like glitter and you don't really pick up any color but honestly with a primer and that works well on top of shadows I think people get really angry at those shades but they're not supposed to be like eyeshadows they're supposed to be eyeshadow toppers in my opinion at least they work well with like glitter glue and they just look really pretty they transform other shades and they're very pigmented the one that I was the most excited about is this yellow I have it popped in my inner corners and I think it's so pretty it's so yellow it's so like in your face I, I actually really like it I created this like purple smoky eye and then I did some purple and pink at the bottom and then I don't know I just love this palette there's so much you could do you have your darker shades you're more like in your face bright like rainbow colors and then your more pastels let's jump into swatches and then I will show you live swatches of these so you can see how they swatch Okay, so I don't have any primer on my hands and I'm gonna be swatching row by row for you. And the first row on the palette is a very dark colors. And this first shade that I'm gonna swatch is Alchemy and this is actually in the Vice 3 palette. And this is a beautiful, like, light mauve color. The next one we have is Warning and it's like a burnt orange and it's absolutely beautiful. The next shade we have is Midnight Blaze and this is one of those toppers that I was talking to you about where you're not going to get a lot of color payoff but a lot of glitter so you have to use a glitter glue with it. The next one we have is 100 and it's a beautiful olive green. The next one we have is Minx and this is a blue, like a satin blue. This one does take a little bit more building up than other ones. The next one we have is Delirious and this is a beautiful purple and this is a matte. And the last one we have is Platonic, and this is a gold, no, sorry, this is a silver gray base. Very beautiful, very shimmery. And that is the first row in the palette. Okay, so now to the middle row, and this is more of your neon shades, and the first one is Gossip, 
and it's a very pretty pink like a hot pink shade then we have seas and it's an orangey kind of coral color then we have calavera and it's a very intense yellow beautiful shade and then we have hatter and this is from the alice in wonderland palette it's a nice matte green and then we have blindsided which is a nice like aqua color very unique very beautiful and then we have sketch and sketch is a nice purple and it's very light so you do have to build this one up a little bit and then last but not least we have iced and this is another one of those shades that i've said that's kind of like a topper so you have to use a lot of um not a lot but just uh, some glitter some glitter glue and it's a beautiful white silvery shadow absolutely beautiful and then this is the middle row of the full spectrum palette and now last but not least we have the last palette <laughs> no the last row in this palette and the first one is paranoia and this one is a really nice purpley pink shade very pretty and then we have jones which is a beautiful orange color And then we have gold mine, which is a very gold color. It's true to its name. And this one is a bit more sheer, so you do have to build this one up a little bit. And then we have mean, which is a lime green shade. And then we have metamorphosis and metamorphosis is from the Alice in Wonderland palette. It's a nice blue. And then we have Faded, and this is a color that I have all over my lids right now. And it's a beautiful purple with some gold glitter. Very, very pretty. And last but not least, we have Bump. Bump is a beautiful matte white shade. And there you have it. That is the last row in the palette, and this is more of the pastel shades. And there you have it. Those were all the swatches in the palette. And as you can tell, they're really nice shades. There's some that take a little bit more building up, but honestly, I'm willing to work with that because they're so pretty and so vibrant. And I just, I don't have a nice enough nice things to say about this. I think that this is a nice little piece for anybody's makeup collection because it's kind of like um, an additive. Like you can use it in addition to other palettes. Like if you have a very neutral palette, you could pop this out and play with some color. If you have a very bright palette, you could still use this and incorporate some shades that may not be in there, which I really like. I think it's a very versatile palette. I think you could create a lot of looks, even just using this on itself because there is mattes and shimmers. And I actually really like it. To recap, this retails for $55, and it includes 21 shades, mattes, and shimmers. 18, like I did t mention to you, have been... 18 are new, and 3 have been in previous palettes. I'm so sorry, brain fart. And then this is going to be a Sephora exclusive, of course, and you could also purchase this on Urban Decay website. And this will be live on Sephora's website October 26th and it will be in stores in November. So I highly suggest you go in stores and you play with this and see how you like it, get a feel for it, swatch some of them, and I don't know, I think you're really gonna like it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, and let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.